welcome to mbps online and uh, today we are going to talk about medicine and in medicine a very important topic uh, which is called differential diagnosis of dysphagia and uh, i think it is very important because it comes in every exam either it is an international or at national level and before starting i would uh, like to say you that uh, you should share and subscribe my channel and also follow us on our instagram account which is online underscore mbps 17 now to start uh, there are five diseases which it which i think are more important and uh, uh, we can confuse them on the basis of their presentation diagnosis and treatment uh, but after this video you will not have any kind of problem in the future now i'm going to start first is zanker diverticulum now zanker diverticulum is basically a outpouching in the pharyngeal posterior pharyngeal constrictor muscle and uh, it presents with dysphagia obviously and uh, with bad breath and food expressed when you press on the throat so this is a very important sign that zanker presents with bad breath in addition to dysphagia and also the food is expressed when you apply force on the throat and uh, no other disease like ecclesia, esophageal cancer, scleroderma or uh, DES presents like this. Moving on, ecclesia presents obviously as dysphagia but this dysphagia is uh, you can say at the same time for both liquids and solids and it is a non-smoker. Now if we want to differentiate between zanker and ecclesia you can say that uh, bad breath is not present in ecclesia and food doesn't express when you press on the neck in ecclesia. Now moving forward, esophageal cancer. In esophageal cancer, in addition to dysphagia, you have to look that the dysphagia is progressive. The first it is with solids and then gradually uh, it becomes for liquids too. And it's always or you can say more than 70 to 80 percent time esophageal cancer is associated with a person who is a smoker. Whereas in Ecclesia, it is a non-smoker. And this is a dysphagia is progressive and this is simultaneously. Now moving forward, the scleroderma. Now the scleroderma is a systemic disease. First of all, you will identify it by, in addition to if any disease have uh, any other systemic sign ad in addition to dysphagia, then it is most likely scleroderma. And uh, it also presents with GERD-like uh, symptoms like substernal chest pain and uh, burning sensation and diffuse esophageal surround is last disease and uh, the important point about the uh, diffuse esophageal spasm is that its dysphagia is intermittent that it comes and goes it not always remain whereas in other conditions dysphagia remains continuously now this uh, is was this was about presentation and you can differentiate now zanker ecclesia esophageal cancer scleroderma and diffuse esophageal spas on the basis of their presentation. Now moving on to the diagnosis. Now diagnosis, you will do barium study for zanker and you will clearly see a posterior pouch in posterior um, cricopharyngeal muscle. In ecclesia, there is a classic bird beak sign on barium swallow and for confirmation you can do manometry. So uh, pretty much clear about here. And and moving forward in esophageal cancer uh, obviously you need to do endoscopy biopsy and in scleroderma this uh, disease in this disease the lower esophageal constrictor neither relaxes nor contracts or you can say the peristalsis is absent so we need to do a mortality study here and uh, here uh, on barium study there is a classic cork screw pattern now on the basis of barium study you can differentiate Zanker, Ecclesia, and diffuse esophageal swab. Whereas scleroderma will be systemic, and you will do motility study and esophageal cancer. After this uh, presentation and history, you will go for endoscopy and biopsy. Now the treatment. Now treatment is uh, pretty clear according to the disease that Zanker that uh, posterior pouch should have to be resected. Then Ecclesia, uh, we should do pneumatic dilation, myotomy and we can also use injection of botulinum toxin but myotomy is the best option here now esophageal cancer we always do resection 
obviously if it's in an allergy stage if it is non sectal then we should do palliative treatment in scleroderma now the uh, the treatment mostly depend upon its presentation and its problems now if patient is with gerd symptoms in scleroderma then you should obviously give ppi in diffuse esophageal sperm there is spasm of the esophageal muscle so we need to de- give a uh, you can say relaxant which is uh, calcium channel blockers so i think after this you are pretty clear about uh, the differential diagnosis of dysphagia and if you have any kind of confusion you can ask on on uh, our uh, instagram account or you can mention us in your in the comment box and in the last uh, i would like to request you to share and subscribe um, this channel and uh, i think that's it thank you all